take it. One of the really tough things to do is to make two very similar things sound different. So we have like Wanda's power and we have Agatha's power. What was some of the things that you guys did to sonically differentiate between them? That was that was the challenge from day one. It was um, two witches fighting and and um, and uh, Wanda is so established. Nia Hansen um, and um, company have done you know ten years of movies with her. It's all very well established and it's it's big and it's full frequency and it, it it's changed through all the movies to match her growing powers and stuff and then her powers grow even more in this um episode and then now we have a new witch uh that 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 uh, at first you know is just doing a few things by the by herself but then is obviously gonna fight wanda in the end so um <clears throat> kind of talked with matt the director about where her powers are coming from and and uh, did an initial pass and he was kind of like, they should kind of come from the same place that Wanda's do and that didn't really work. Um, and then we started, um, we latched on to the cicada thing that uh, was kind of established in her little lair. So once we got, once we kind of found a palette of like kind of buzzy insecty noises and, and, uh, and kind of fiery stuff, it was easy to just start building sounds and kind of stay away from the <clears throat> the um, stuff that Wanda has that's a little more um, sparkly and that kind of thing. 